we're back with Brooke Shields, and we're just talking. We we're talking about Nickelodeon because you're doing a movie I'm for them doing right now. I'm a movie for them right now. I'm, I'm just up in Vancouver, and um, and we've been. They're just great. The character that I play is unlike anything. I mean, I'll come back and when when it comes out. Yeah, tell us about it. Premature, but um, I play a very different character than anything I've ever ever played. And the I showed a picture of myself to um, to Greer, and she said, "I know like that lady." Oh. <laughs> it must be hard to, like, to figure like that her. out. Yeah, she said. I said, oh, "I'm just playing her. I know yeah. to to play with her." Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> she was very. I couldn't convince her. I was like, "Oh God!" And there was this castle, and I showed her a picture of a castle. I said, "But look, real princesses live here." And then she was fine. Oh, princesses! Once I got a princess, yeah. I slowly yeah, hanging out with in there, and then it was yeah. that was fine. I didn't have any pictures of princesses because you know they they're very ethereal, so I couldn't find any. No, <laughs> they, they, they flash. Land, but they I disappear they, when the they, flash goes off. Exactly. So yeah. I think that's a good one. <laughs> now we have a clip of you. This is your first film. You're nine years old here. What was it called? It's called Alice Sweet Alice. Alice then Sweet it Alice. Then it came out again as Holy Terror. It was a, it's a, Where is it? Where are you? Oh, my so scary we did it in um it was my first movie it was before pretty baby it was um shot in new jersey that wasn't the scary part but it was, <laughs> it was um it was this horror 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 movie and it was just i had to be um uh, strangled and well, i well, was how do you feel it. well it, the really weird the really funny thing is i had to audition for it and they audition for the strangling for scene? the strangling scene, you know and when you're a little kid you love to kind of go pretend yeah like that so i did that of course my face got all red and then i um made a noise um, in my pants while I was auditioning for it, and and it was, of course, I was like beyond mortified, and I sort of went, well, I won't do that. <laughs> you know? And then like later they were trying to, I got the part. <laughs> oh, Maybe that's what did it. I don't know, but um, and and they were talking about um, zodiac signs, and and you know, and I said, oh, well, I'm a Gemini, and someone said, oh, that's the air sign. And someone went, yeah, we know. <laughs> first movie so it's all history after that well, thank goodness <laughs> it get better this is amazing I can't believe I remember this magazine this is 1981 the 80s look there you are Brooke you look exactly the same <laughs> no you do no no well a more sophisticated beautiful young version of yourself as you are right now <laughs> and I think it's been nice that you've been this little girl here, uh, I mean, it must have been challenging to be who you were or had to be, I should it, say, I right? think it's strange. I mean, again, it was a different era, and right. I think that's such an arbitrary thing, like, to decide that that's the face of an era. You know, I mean, it's very, it was, I found it funny to me that that's what it was, because it was very hard to register. But I see the kids today, you know, and I, um... Uh, I was I was up in Vancouver and, yeah, the and kids all from the Twilight. kids from Twilight and so the the hotel is just all a buzz and I I it was just it recorded actually that this happened so um, I was in the bar and I was waiting for our director and then some of them came in and I they were getting mobbed and so I pretended I knew them <laughs> and I said oh no your seats over here you guys you know seats here so that I could get them away from right. the people and they said you yeah, know thank you and I tried to leave and they're like you're not leaving you're staying with us well then. As I sat there, I ran the gamut of feeling like really protective. I'm, you know, then really old, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, it was, but they're so much more sophisticated than I was at that age. And, you know, these kids, they've got it, they've got a lot of fame, and I mean, they were delightful. And, you know, I, I, they were calling me, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I should have, I, was I supposed to sit there with them? Was I not? Like, I felt so excited to be sitting with those, the toilet kids, you know? <laughs> I was like very, I felt cool. Because, you know, I never got invited to the cool kids group I remember. when I was a kid, you know? So here I was, 20 years too late, basically, <laughs> really sitting with them, and, and they asked me to be there. So part of me felt like a kid, wow. and then part of me felt like this really old lady. Like, it was a, I mean, it was very strange. You know, my husband was like, what were you, what were you thinking? I was like, they invited me. You know? oh, I 
think it's great. You deserve <laughs> to sit down and have a good time, and I'm sure they were equally, they were equally we got if into, not more, thrilled. I, I, you know, I mean, we got into really interesting conversations about fame and about the, the derogatory things that it can kind of put on your, onto your life and how to stay level. And I kept saying, you know, I can't promise it's going to get better, but you can decide how you let it affect you. You can decide how you react. Right, but I think that honesty can really be the gift that we can give each other. And I, I think that that's important for young people out there today, seeing you and thinking of the glamour and what goes with it. But there's a lot of challenges and a, a lot that we sacrifice. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.